Okay, welcome to Trade People's Tips channel again, people. Thanks for um, tuning in. We have a bed we're going to put together. Here is the mattress. This is the bed frame somehow, some way. So. Right, so I'm going to have a little tidy up. I'm going to have a little tidy up of what I'm doing, and I'll get back to you shortly. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back, and as you can see, we've laid out everything. I've got to get this phone unplugged for a minute. Hope the battery don't go. Right, we've got everything laid out. There's our top, and what we can work that so far we have put in we've put in our screws in there none of it is tightened yet the plugs are in if i show you over here we have two different sizes that's a large one that's a smaller one we also have the same screws but one longer and one shorter if they're one longer one shorter it can't be the same screws then can it stupid we have those I'm not worth sure what those are for yet and these bolts go through the side there and hook it to the frame you can see we're putting some of the pins already just there so this end now will attach to there that attaches to there on here I've got the screws laid out this bit here now see the holes should sit on there like that yeah but first we've got to fit it to there all right there again the same with the bolts there same again here and basically we're gonna knock that out this long pole here that hooks on to there just like that flat down bam job done okay there's the back end of it and the drawers you see the runner for the drawers again on here if I flip this one over you can see the other side for the runner so that straight away tells you that's how this fits You've got a spanner and you've got an Allen key. So I'm going to crack away now and give you a shout once I've got it together. This, I'm just going to get my screwdriver, screw those in. I won't even tap on those because I don't want to end up tapping it through to the other side. If you're going to tap it, tap it very gently. And when you get resistant, stop. Yeah, so on that note, here we go. Right, like I said, we're going to start just up here. So we get this corner, get our pin back, a little hammer, little tap, just so it doesn't come out. Now, you hear the difference in the sound? Listen. Don't tap it no further, you've reached your back. Listen. The difference in the sound? Right, so. Get our screwdriver and we tighten these ones in. Now this should line up. See these? You've got to use your screwdriver to turn them and lock them in. They lock onto here. Alright, so Just like that. All right, so now we get our bolts. I showed you earlier on. Put that in there. Sorry, need a washer and the bolt. That's your washer. Bolt. We 
we're now going to fit this one. Here we put our pegs in again. Let's give it a little tap. Okay, we caught that one. That one. Come across to the middle. Line that up. Tap it in. So we're going to get back to that. Right, now we come down to this end. Again, the same thing. Comes up to there now. Line up. Push that one out a bit. Bring this one over, whichever works. Whoa, this is tight. Something's wrong. Shouldn't have tightened up the other one yet. Okay, let's line that one up in there. This is why I say to you all the time, don't tighten everything up right until the end. Open that one. Now this is far too tight, so I'm going to have to slacken off this side. Come back down here. I just took this one back off. Yeah. See? That gives me the movement back down here. Right? Yeah. So what I'll do now, I'll catch this end. Line it up. Some way, somehow. Should I put my glasses on? Alright, that's in there. My bolts. My washer. What I'm going to do with this one as well, as I said, keep it loose. If you're trying to turn your boat and it won't turn, just move your bottom end. See my hand? Just move it around and that will allow you to catch this. Don't go crazy with it. Don't want to snap it off. Bolt and washer, again, at the bottom. Again, move it around if you have to. Just want to catch it. Yeah? Right, and then you come down this end, two bolts, one washer. We have a problem. Mission control. There. Spread it out. Now, it won't come in, yeah? So don't force it. Why won't it come in? Because of here. Yeah, so you come back down, and you make sure you can line up this end and this end more or less at the same time. That's lined up. So you lift the bed, put it on the, just press the bed down on them, and they'll slide into place. That will give you the clearance for here. Then this just slides on. Right, now once you've got to that stage, and you've cleared everything away, these little things here comes in the packet. We were looking for them. All there is is to stop your bed sliding around once you put it on the floor, or marking your floor, depending on the floor you have. All right, so we'll get those out of the way. The next thing we come to are these little bad boys.
basically boom that's it ready for our mattress so we're gonna pause again for a minute right here's our first drawer we've put together all right now we've got pegs that goes in here in there and in there locates in there all right we've got our screws in we haven't tightened anything down all right again we have all our screws in along here we haven't tightened anything down in between the two panels the two panels joined about there there's a peg there and a peg there those two pegs must go in we've got our screws here all lined up we haven't tightened anything again at the bottom the same thing there 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 we catch everything make sure everything is lined up everything is where it should be before we start tightening everything now if i come over to here this panel if you look at it the the head the holes are countersink on one side and flush on the other okay so the counter side sink counter sink side is the side that faces up towards you so the wood will sit the screws once you put them in they will sit flush in there okay right then you have let me just get these out of the way you have this bit the front of your drawer right now oh this is a nightmare this piece here that I'm telling you about bolts on to there like that yeah but it can go that way around or it can go that way around so you put your screws in make sure you cut all your screws do not tighten anything down yeah once you've done that then you get your pins that goes in the side there your two pins put those in either side which are those pins there these ones here and then these are the screws that you use so these are all you've got left pin and screw okay so once you've done that you then get this bit which fits there with your pin and your hole so you line up your pins through these holes and these are the ones your screw goes through so this part will be at the bottom of your drawer because you've got to fit your runners on it so it'll go on the bottom of your drawer you'll identify by the side of this one side is clean you see that's the side you don't see so that will be at the bottom so that's the bottom of your drawer so if it fits that way this piece has got to fit that way that's the bottom of your drawer yeah this is why you put everything on loose so you put that on you put you catch your screws but you don't tighten them yeah everything is loose make sure everything is where it's supposed to be get your drawer runners line them up make sure they're in the right place before you start tightening the last thing you want to do is tighten and have to undo so i'm going to get my runners i'm going to sort it out and i'll be back now you're looking at our drawer that's our first drawer we finished first drawer we finished on now we're going to get into the second drawer this is the drawer here right now i've got all my bits organized in some kind of an order which i'm going to use them so i'm going to start off now and show you and go through it as quickly as possible i'm going to do it just on here just this first bit so you can see right so that lays there on here Remember I said the holes are countersunk. Let me get one of the screws and show you. This one here. So when it falls in, it sits more or less flush. Well, that ain't near now when they're flush. The holes lines up one way only. If you put it alongside it, you will see that one, that one lines up. That doesn't, that doesn't, and that doesn't. Turn it around. And everybody lines up okay so we'll drop that through there so you can see it line it up in a hole okay so I'm gonna use my little gun because I'll show you so much quicker there you go a couple of turns on each
Put that in there. Now we're happy with everything. We start tightening up that. We'll put this right up to the corner, right up to the corner, just like that, and we hold it, see there, flush there, and there. So we hold it there and there. That's our draw done. Get our draw. Now we're gonna fit it. Yeah. Let's lay it down. You don't have to be done the way I'm doing it. I'm just being a pain. All right. On the runners here, if you can see inside here, you have a runner. Just there as well. Same thing. I'll just tilt that back out a bit. There's your roller. And the same there. Yeah? So you've got to do get your draw in. And if you look on your draw out here, there is your other roller. You... Right? So all you gotta do is get one roller over the other. So we'll pull our drawer in, that's over. Pull our drawer in, that's over. Come outside. Lift your draw, slide it in, job done. All right, next thing we gotta do is our pegs. We have some pegs, we put one in here. Okay, this is our bed all finished, everything's in place, everything's secure, as secure as it's going to get. So next is our mattress. Yeah. If we get our mattress, it comes with two handles, well, two strap uses handle. Get it up, chuck it on your bed, get it roughly in position, I would imagine. As I roll it over, you can see, got some velcro under that one. Undo that one and get them out of the way. Yeah, it is very handy for hanging up the missus when she gets on your nerves. Right, get your scissors. And we're gonna have to cut a piece of stone. Perfect. Don't need to cut nothing. Hey, <laughs> check you later, yeah? Stop rubbing each other. A job well done.